Hello, I'm going to cover um, comment uh, moderation in this in this video. So here I'm a I'm an anonymous user, uh, not logged into the site, who might be searching um, for their own name, for instance. Um, uh, they might find a find a an interesting letter and navigate to comments no one's commented yet so i'm going to comment on this letter to uh, peter weather and i'm going to put in my name and my email address which is required if you're not logged in um, you can choose whether or not this is just general discussion or a suggested correction, and that will show in the the admin area um, to the to the administrator. There's a, a bit of a, a spam prevention here. Students field some melters, and um, um, my comment. it doesn't but um, what's a comment so when a comment is published now the administrator then comes in and can see the comment so we will let about Peter does this mean I'm related um, if the person set up a gravatar you'll be able to see uh, their, their, their avatar, their email address, um, and you can see that this is this is kind of a, a newly a newly entered comment um, because it's highlighted in red. So there are various options for the for the editor here. Um, oh, there's the comment type. So this is just general discussion. You can um, if it's a spam one. Hopefully there won't be many spam emails because of that, that capture that will stop uh, automated bots, but you can flag that as spam and it just effectively goes in the bin um, or, or trash it directly. Uh, there's a requirement for being able to kind of edit these. Um, so um, if, if you so wish, you can go in and actually edit the comment before before publishing it um, and then obviously once it's approved it will appear visibly on the site and there will be no need for for any other administrators to take any action um, for approved comments so we're just gonna we're just gonna approve this one as is so that's now visible on the site and if we go back to our anonymous user and refresh the refresh the page. We can see there's now one comment on this site, and um, on the click comments, um, there's there's the option for users to leave a comment, and then there's there's all the comments there as well. So there's my my comment. Users can choose to reply to individual comments, so you get like a nested um, conversation going on, going on, or you can or you can just create a new kind of thread on there. So um, let's create a, a new anonymous identity and be be someone replying to this. And we could do this actually as the administrator. So as an administrator user we navigate to the actual page you can do that actually by going into the following this link so if you open this link in the new tab for instance i'll do it the way um yeah yeah view so here we are there's a comment we're logged in this is the administrator so the administrator may want to reply for instance to this person um clearly i'm not related so they may um to reply to Peter and uh, choose choose the um, choose the type. It's just general discussion. No, um, if 
your surnames matched, then you may be related. Um, and post that comment. So you notice that administrators and logged in users don't need to enter the capture question because that's um, because they're already essentially authenticated. So now if we refresh this this page, see there's now two comments and um, this one's nested. So my user Dukesfield, which happens to have the same email address actually, um, and hence the same avatar, um, which we need to change, creates the comment. So the other requirement was to where someone makes a suggested correction for that to get added to to the notes field. Now we discussed this as being a, a, a manual process. So um, if, a, if an anonymous user comes in and creates a this is Bob um, correction okay post the comment back in here we can see there's a new comment uh, which is a suggested correction so it may be the case then that they, uh, the, the, the editor copies this text once it's been validated and actually goes to the, to the transcription itself. Um, maybe adds a, a note um, to that, this box could be made bigger if you wanted to, to, to kind of have extended notes. Paste it into there, or maybe even um, actually kind of edits edits this text. Although I think that's probably um, not not ideal. It would be better. I think the I think the requirement actually was to to, to kind of just append append notes. Um, you know, it's more likely to say. To be a correction, as in kind of the spelling of a surname or, or, or something. So um, you, you paste that in there and update the field. And then in view, I'm going to go and remove this afterwards, obviously. We've now got a notes field that says this is clearly wrong. We've got the two comments because we never actually published that comment. We could do if we want. Um, as well as, as copying it across into the notes on the transcription, um, that's that's entirely up to the user. So after this video, I'm going to go and remove that. In fact, I'll do it now. Um, so we'll edit transcription, remove that, um, and back in the comments area. If if the if the administrator decides that they're wrong in saying that it's clearly wrong, then they can either just publish it without setting it into the notes, or set it as spam, or reply, or trash it. I'm going to trash this one because it's a silly. Thing. So there you go. That was been. So in terms of multiple editors um, coming in, basically. You know, once something's been approved by someone, then the other editors can see that. Or if it's been trashed, then the other editors can see that. So it's a case of um, uh, the ones that are pending are the ones of interest uh, for new administrators coming in and, and working on the comments. I'm actually going to trash the, all of these because this is this is on the live site currently. Um, so now we've trashed these. If we go back to the, uh, the transcription, refresh this page, you see we're back to square one with no comments on this transcription. Thank you.